The last seven star raid in the original slate of Pokemon has officially been revealed, and just as predicted, it is a normal type Rillaboom Terror Raid. However, things are a little weird with this one because it does not debut this week. It actually doesn't come out until July 28th, meaning there is still a good chance we're going to get Mewtwo raids later this week for the 25th anniversary of Pokemon the movie. However, let's take a look at just some Pokemon that you can start thinking about builds for to use against Rillaboom when he makes his debut in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet later next week. Now, knowing Rillaboom's stats and the way that he's going to work with a normal Terra type, we're definitely going to want to bring in some heavy hitting fighting type Pokemon uh, to go into this raid with. So, I'm going to run down the list here. These are Pokemon that are going to work super well and have worked really well in 7 star raids in the past. Starting off with a channel favorite and uh, one of my personal favorite Pokemon and builds that we've ever used on this channel, none other than Cletus the Hariyama. So, Cletus the Hariyama is fighting and fighting Terra type. Obviously, all of these are going to have the Shell Bell. They're level 100. And basically, for every single one of these, uh, with a couple exceptions, you're going to be running Drain Punch and some sort of close combat. With Hariyama and uh, Iron Hands down the list, running Belly Drum as well. So, we start off with Hariyama. Just because he is a super solid build, Cletus has proved wonders in the past uh, for this. We also have Combat Tauros, another Pokemon we have used in the past, uh, past with its uh, Raging Bull being incredibly effective in Terror Raids, actually being able to almost one-shot several raids uh, in the past. So this is another one to keep an eye out on and make sure that you have ready to go. Lucario makes its return. Um, with its fighting and steel type and fighting terror type. This one's special because it gets access to Aura Sphere. And Aura Sphere is one of those that uh, we know can just absolutely decimate. Plus, you never have to worry about this one missing. 80 base power, too. Nothing to mess with. Uh, it is a special attacker, which could be super beneficial against Rillaboom. So, another one to keep an eye on. Uh, Annihilate, <laughs> the king of terror raids makes its return so annihilate for everybody that loves using this in every freaking seven star raid ever you can finally bust your annihilate back out throw that guy in there bulk up close combat max physical attack max physical defense defiant is your ability shell bell forget about it drain punch you got it you know use the exact same one you've used for everything this one's gonna be a pushover iron hands everybody's used this one at one point or another you guys know how this works Level 100, Shell Bell's the held item, max attack, max physical defense, belly drum, close combat, or belly drum, drain punch. That's all it's going to be. It's going to be the exact same thing that it's been every other time we've done this. And for my Scarlet players, I've got an exclusive one for you guys. Bust out your Coat Rhydon. We've used Coat Rhydon in the past in 7-star raids, and it's worked incredibly well. This one is going to be no different. It's fighting type, and, or fighting and dragon with a fighting terror type. Get, throw the Shell Bell on this guy, throw your EVs, max and physical attack and HP, bulk up, drain punch, sword stance, screech, uh, throw whatever else you want to throw on here, close combat, it's going to work wonders. I can tell you guys right now that these six Pokemon, in any capacity, are probably going to absolutely roll through Rillaboom raids like no one's business. So... Keep an eye out. We're not going to have builds out for these this week because it's still over a week away for uh, Rillaboom Terror Raids. But these are Pokemon to be thinking about. Okay, If you've got some ideas for Pokemon you want to see, leave them down in the comments below for me. I'll pick some of my favorites and I may make videos on them. You never know. But that's about it. We've got a week left before Rillaboom arrives, which means that there's a good chance you're going to be seeing Mewtwo uh, in raids later this week. So keep an eye out on the channel as always. We'll have news for you or updates for you guys as soon as things are announced. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.